What's up? What's up, y'all? Um, I'm on this jump today. I'ma uh, you know, talk more about um, you know, real life situations I've had. You know, I'ma talk about um, like what happened when I left DC jail. I made pride videos about, you know, when I was on the juvenile block. I made one about my experiences in Big Sandy. And this was gonna be what happened when I left the juvenile block and you know went out the feds. <laughs> so um, you know, I made other videos too. I try to, you know, keep keep people's spirits up, you know, try to make some funny videos, you know, some interesting videos, just chronicling like stuff I'm doing in my life and stuff I'm going through. But the stuff that get the most views is when I talk about, you know jail and stuff like that so yeah in, two th in May 2001 um you know a month before my 18th birthday you know I was sent out uh well they woke me I was on a juvenile block and you know they woke me up the sergeant it was a white sergeant he was like yeah get up get your stuff together you're going out walla walla which is a penitentiary in Washington State, which you know at the time, I ain't care where I was going. At. I ain't care. I mean, I I thought I was going to turn eighteen, you know, going to adult block over the DC jail, and then go out the feds. But I'm like, oh, I'm, it's a month before my eighteenth birthday. Oh well, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I was with it. So when I, you know, they uh. You know, take me into transit. You go through all that. I got on the airplane or whatever. I was shackled up, you know, me and other inmates that's getting, you know, going to different places. And, you know, that was my first time being on a plane and, you know, still. And that was back in 2001. And this is 2019 now. And I just flew my first commercial flight like two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? The first time I ever been on a commercial plane, but... Yeah, so I went to, uh, so they end up sending me to Memphis. The, the sergeant was playing with me, talking about Walla Walla, thinking I don't know what he thought. But, you know, I wasn't stunting no matter where I went there. So anyway, I get to Memphis, and when I get down there, you know what I'm saying, they walk me through R&D, then they take me to the gym. And when I go in the gym, you know what I'm saying, I'm looking at the, they got they got kids, like, sitting on the bleachers. So I'm like, so I asked the, uh, the CEO who I was with, I was like, they locked up too? <laughs> he was like, yeah. So first thing went to my mind was like, oh man, this joint's sweet. This joint too sweet. So what it was is, I went to a place called Shelby Training Center, which is a facility in Memphis. And anybody in Memphis, Tennessee that was in Shelby Training Center from 01, so like that was that was May 01 and I left that jump like the end of 2003 before I, I got put out that jump and end up going to FCI Memphis at the end of 2003 but I was up STC for over two years so anybody that was in STC Shelby Training Center at that time they know me they know DC they know what's up so uh you know that that place was like a uh it was a juvenile prison basically like for the Memphis dudes, it was a prison that, you know, if you was under 18 and you caught, like, a adult type of charge, a felony type charge, they'd send you over there instead of sending you over to jail. Over, uh, uh, whatever they don't call down Memphis. Whatever, but, uh. They also had a place called Tall Trees, which was right beside that joint. Tall Trees would be like if you were a juvenile, you catch little weak charges. But once you catch like manslaughter, armed robberies, murder junks, they were sending them dudes to Shelby Training Center. And, um, you know what I'm saying? For the dudes that was federal inmates like me, that was like a, a juvenile prison. It was like a, a federal prison for juveniles because you had dudes that was getting locked up in Puerto Rico and they were shipping over there. You had dudes from New Orleans. It was a lot of dudes from Nevada, uh, Reno and Las Vegas. You know what I'm saying? You had me. I was the first DC dude down there. Then they ended up bringing a few more. Um, New York, Ohio. I mean, juveniles from all over. So it was like a prison for juveniles. The oldest people there was 20. 
And the youngest, I don't know what the youngest was, probably like 14 or something. So going from D.C. jail and then going into that, I mean, how you supposed to learn your lesson, man? I was down that jump wild. My introduction there, after like a few weeks, you know what I'm saying? I was on a basketball court, and they had the court where you got the whole court, then you had a side court that was like in between the whole courts that was on the side. So you had games going on. We playing half court games. And, you know, we was playing on one end of the full court. And you had another group of uh, people playing on the little side court. So our game getting serious, you know, score real close. So we score, you know, I'm checking the ball up. And <laughs> the, the the dudes game that was on the side court, you know, they game like, they, they came into our jump. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, get the fuck out of the way, man. What y'all doing, right? So... You know, I just so you know, of course, dudes gonna get in their feelings when you talk to them like that. So I understood, like, yeah, my my approach was wrong. So I was like, come on, man, uh, you know what I'm saying? We we trying to play a game, man. We trying to play a game. So it was a uh, a white boy. He was like, man, we trying to play a game too. <laughs> like he was like real aggressive talking to me, right? So I was like, slim man, I can't even remember exactly what was said, but he said some wild shit, and I like laughed it off. I was like. <laughs> Did like this, then I just caught his ass, bop, bop, <laughs> and stole his ass. <laughs> and then, uh, you know what I'm saying? He he threw like two wild. He was like, "Why did you hit me?" And threw like two wild jumps, and you know, I just stepped out of the way. He missed, then I caught him again, and everybody was like, "Oh!" Then motherfucker started grabbing me. He was like, "Oh, DC, DC, DC!" Oh! You know what I'm saying? Sicing it like, and I ain't get rolled up or nothing. And it was uh. A CO named Mr. Strickland, he probably dead now because he was old as I don't know what back then. He ain't care. He seen that shit and all that. You know, down south, they be on that racist shit like a motherfucker. So he see a black dude, still a white motherfucker. He wasn't tripping. I ain't get rolled up or nothing off of that. So uh, that was my introduction. And then I was just so wild down that jump. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was 17. I was young, coming, don't, going through all that stuff I went through over D.C. jail, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you 17, you know, you get locked up, like, it ain't but so much, you know, sex or whatever you done had in your life. Like, you 17, it ain't like you done had sex with 20, 30 different women by the time you 17, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm still young. Like, I wasn't a virgin, but, you know what I'm saying? I'm horny as shit, and you done took me away from females, so I'm... All I could do is lust off COs and be gunning them down. You know, they walk past, do count, gunning them down, getting locked down for that type of shit sometimes. Sometimes I wasn't. And, you know, a whole bunch of fighting. Um, then they started sending, um, you know what I'm saying, other D.C. dudes down there. And just like a place like that, I ain't, I ain't learned nothing. Because when I came home off of doing them four years... You know what I'm saying? Like, I was sentenced to four years for armed robbery at 17. So I did like nine months over the jail. I did like two and a half years up uh, Shelby Training Center. Then I did like my last like seven or eight months like up uh, FCI Memphis when I got put out that jump. So, um, I mean, we all together, I got into like 10 fights down that jump. Uh, one fight was, you know, you had me, my man, uh, TJ Wardy from up Hobart, and my man Keith from up one five. We're in a child hall. So at this moment we was beefing with the Crip dudes down there. So this was like on a weekday. I had a visit coming that weekend. So down there for the people that's federal inmates, we used to get all day visits. You know what I'm saying? We get a visit. Our people's travel. They let us get a visit. It'd be like for six, seven hours, something like that. So I told my man, TJ, I was like, Slim, I got a visit coming. Wait till I get my visit. And then as soon as I step out the visiting hall, nigga, we could just start attacking everybody, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever, because... It was only a few of us, but we were strong, shorty. When you got that bond like that, it was like 
our, our, our mob, it was me, Twan, TJ. At that time, it was uh, Keese. Keese was down there, but then Keese ended up going home. Then it was Mo and uh, Tim Smooth. We was just, we was like tight, man. It wasn't a lot of us, but because it was like one for all, all for one, it was just like no stopping us, man. We was like that up there, John. But anyway, so we was beefing with uh, some Crip dudes. Like, it was a dude named Wild Child, Joshua Giles. I'll never forget him because he was a little guy, but Slim went hard. Like, he was one of the few Memphis dudes that I really liked it, man. And me and him was cool, but he had got into it with my, with one of, with Twan. He's a homie, so I got to roll with the home team, but whatever. So anyway, we in a child hall. I got my back towards them. So they come in, you know, to the child hall. They standing in line. So I happen to look up, and, you know, Wardy, he's sitting across from me. His face just, and he just mugging, like, and looking at them dudes. I look behind him, like, oh, man, I'm like, Slim, chill, Slim. Like, chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Chill. Man, why them dudes come and then they sit over in a section that we in? You know what I'm saying? So when it's time to go, you know what I'm saying? You got to line up and get in formation. So when they started getting up to line up and shit, you know, like I said, my back was still towards them. So T, uh, Wardy stood up. And I understand because you don't want a person standing over top of you and you sitting down. You at a disadvantage, which was cool. But when he stood up, he stood up when, when, when Wild Child started approaching. So one of the COs, it was a lady. She stood in between them. She was like, oh, no, nah, y'all not going to fight while I'm right here. What, man? That nigga Wardy <laughs> Gray had like a cup of juice and swung over the lady. Boom. Hit the dude Wild Child in the head. The juice spill everywhere. And you know what I'm saying? They slipping. They on the ground. They scuffling. Then it's a dude named Tyson. You know what I'm saying? He was close to me. Keys pop off on him. So then I boom, boom, boom. So I started stealing him. He he balled up like this. And you know, I'm catching him. Boom, boom, boom. Hit him with the, the left and the up. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I get him about eight, nine good times. And then uh Mr. Griffin, big ass. He was like the lieutenant. Big, big motherfucker. Like, so I'm like 17, 18 by the time this year happened. I'm probably like 18 when this year happened. 18 or 19. I'm skinny as hell. I could barely do pull-ups. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm in way better shape. Griffin, was, I'm, I'm, I'm 6'3". Griffin had to be like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six, but he was like 270. Big black, big motherfucker. <laughs> so he come, he grabbed me. You know what I'm saying? He got my hands behind my back. He grabs me first. Of course he gonna grab me first. Bring me out in the hallway. He like, yeah, Fogel. That's my last name. He like, yeah, Fogel, you know I ain't going for nothing. I say, man, I ain't going for nothing either. He say, huh? I say, man, I ain't going for nothing either. Man, he, he stuck his leg in front of me and just, boom, slammed me on my face. And, you know, that they had that little thin-ass carpet on there. I had a big-ass carpet burn on my face because of that shit. Took me to the hole. You know what I'm saying? Took uh, Wardy to the hole. Took Keith to the hole. And, you know... Crush my visit. They still allowed me to get my visit, but instead of having an all day visit, I think they let me get like an hour. My mother was mad, disappointed, but you know, I mean, what? what